My wife gets mad whenever I mess with her red wine. So I added fruit and lemonade to it and now she's sangrier than ever. <laughs> Hello again everybody and welcome back. Today I'm just going to be showing you a few different things you can change on your fire stick to make it run as it should and make it run potentially better than what it does at the moment. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. I'm not going to lie, I've just pointed like that. I've just noticed on the camera, I think I've got a bit of toothpaste on my t-shirt, so I do apologise. <laughs> but no, a lot of people are saying at the moment, like, the fire stick's running really slow, and it's just, it's, it's poor, and sometimes it can cause buffering. So I'm just going to show you a few different things you can do on your fire stick to make it run better, and to all round just improve the performance. Now, one thing you can definitely check out, and it, it will benefit you, is going to the top left hand corner, the search icon, and you're going to see the Amazon store. Store, I don't know why I'm on to that. And you're going to see an app called Background Apps and Process List. And when we click on this, this is the app you're going to get. Download that to your Fire Stick. And when we open it up, it's going to tell you what apps are running in the background, which you wouldn't really know about. And obviously, the more apps that are running in the background, the slower your device is going to run. So it's not going to perform as well as it could without these apps running. But if you need the apps running, obviously don't stop them running. <laughs> so none of these apps at the moment I am using. So what you do, you click on the app. It's going to take you to here and you're going to force stop it. And you can do this for every application that you can see inside that list. All you've got to do is click the enter button now to force stop and click the back button and then you're going to see they're going to start disappearing. But obviously from force stopping them, don't worry, it's not deleting them from the device, it's just removing them as in they're not running in the background anymore. So now when I open the app again, you can see no apps are running in the background so it's going to work a lot better, it's going to run a lot smoother. Nobody likes when you're trying to navigate around the fire stick and you're waiting ages for it to move, it's lagging, and it just feels dog shit. Nobody likes that, and that can be one of the causes of it happening. Right, so another thing we're going to look at as well is inside, a lot of this is going to be inside the settings. I've just banged my mic, so I do apologise if that hurt your ears. <laughs> and we're going to start on the My Fire TV section. And on Developer Options... If you're not installing anything like third-party to your device, make sure to turn off apps from unknown sources. This is going to stop any of the background apps or any app in general being able to install stuff that shouldn't be installed to your device. I always leave on ADB debugging, but I suppose you can turn that off as well but it may affect some of the apps installed on your device. So next, a lot of them are inside preferences. And when you go down, you see privacy settings, and a lot of the, I've already turned them off, but the things that I don't think you need to be running, device usage data, collect, <laughs> collect app usage data, and interest-based ads. Obviously, the interest-based ads, that's just showing you ads that are relevant to you. So having that on or off won't really make much of a difference. A bit of Yorkshire came out of me then with the won't. Won't means won't. <laughs> but I would suggest turning these two off because... You don't want them collecting any kind of data that you're using your Fire Stick for or any of the apps that you're installing. Next up, you've got data monitoring. Monitor data consumption on your Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K. I always turn that off as well. Notification settings. So when we click on this, app notifications, you'll see all your apps are set to on. As you can see here, as soon as they're installed, notifications are turned on by default. I would suggest turning these off. Now, a lot of people did say previously, well, if we turn those off, how do we know there's an update for that app? Well, whenever you use that app, it will prompt you for an update if it is needed. Any other notification, it doesn't really interest me, so I do turn those off. I went up at the end of the sentence, then I don't know why. <laughs> right, so another thing as well, which it gets on my tits personally, but as you can see at the top of the Amazon home screen, you're going to see different trailers and ads for things on Prime Video, or anything to do with Amazon. Now, sometimes this actually plays a trailer, which it, it pisses me off. I don't want a trailer on the home screen of my Fire Stick. So once again, if we go to Settings, and then Preferences, you're going to see it says Featured Content. And now we're going to turn both of these off. As you can see, Allow Featured Rotator 
to autoplay video went off, only still images will appear. So now only images will appear rather than it playing a trailer or an ad of something that we don't want to see. So now another thing we're going to look at is inside applications. And when we launch this, you're going to see it comes up with a few different options. You've got Silk Browser, which is obviously a browser for your Fire Stick. But Game Circle. Now, I don't really, I don't even know what Game Circle is, to be honest. On Select Games, your progress is saved to the cloud by WhisperSync. You can turn this functionality off on this device. So I always turn that off because it's something I don't need, I'm never going to need. And if it's turned on, it's potentially another thing that's going to take up some of that performance that I could benefit from if it was off. You've got the App Store as well. When we click on this, you've got a few different options that may benefit you if you turn them on and off. In-app purchases, I always turn them off. And this is because you never know what the kids are doing. If they think it's wrong, they'll do it. <laughs> so that's something I always turn off. Uh, notifications and high cloud apps, I always turn those off as well. So now if we go across to display and sound, you're going to see a few different options inside here. If you click on screen saver, you've actually got the ability to change how they look, how they pan across, how they change. But you can actually turn these off. If it does piss you off how it keeps going to a screen saver, then going into sleep mode, you can just click on never or you can extend the time on it. And then you can also change the images that are showing to your own images by using the app, which I think it's the Amazon Photos app. So if you want to make it more personalized, that's also an option. And then one last thing that we are going to look at is checking the apps that are installed on your device. Now, 99.9% .9 of people use an Amazon Fire Stick and they install third-party apps that are unofficial. So what you're going to need is Downloader. If you haven't already got Downloader, it's in the Amazon Store. Just type in Downloader and it will come up. And then you just want to install that. And also, don't forget, once you've got Downloader installed on your device, you go to Settings, to My Fire TV, Developer Options, and make sure the apps from unknown sources is turned on again. We need this turned on to be able to download stuff to the Fire Stick. So now we're going to click on Downloader. Then once it opens, if it is the first time you're opening it, make sure you allow the permissions. And now enter this website exact as I type it now. Exact, I don't know what I'm saying, but let's crack on .org is a website you're going to want to enter. Don't know why I can't speak, and I do apologize about that. But speaking's never been one of my strong points. So we're going to click on... I don't want you to feel sorry for me, that was a joke. I'm going to click on go. So let's crack on .org. And then you're going to click on the three-line button, hamburger menu, whatever you want to call it. Do comment below what you call it. And once we click on that, you're going to click on downloads. And then there's loads of apps on here that are available for your Fire Stick. And it's unreal how much stuff you can actually install onto there. But the one we want is under Useful Tools and Essentials. And you're going to see an app called Virus Total. And when you click on this, it's going to start downloading. Simply click Install. Give it a couple of moments. And then once it's finished, click on Done. And then click Delete and Delete again. Very important step. This is going to save storage on your device. Another thing you can do as well is to save you having to type in the website every time you visit. Go to the top right hand corner, add current page to favorites, click on save. And now every time you launch downloader, you can simply go to favorites and then it's there. It takes you straight to that page, makes things a lot faster and a lot easier. So once we've got virus total installed on the device, we're going to go to settings, applications, manage installed applications. And then you're going to scroll down the list until you find Virus Total. We're going to launch the application. And I'm going to click the Enter button. And now it may say that it's only intended for devices with Google Play services installed. Just click on OK if it does give you this prompt. Now give it a couple of moments just to scan the device. As you can see there, we get the Google prompt. So I click OK. And now this is going to tell us what apps are harmful and what apps are OK to have on your device. As you can see, you've got three flicks and you've got two that have been detected inside that. And what you can do, you can click on it and it will tell you what it is that's inside that. You can see it's found a Trojan and a dropper agent for Android. Not sure what they are, but Virus Total is giving us a green tick. Now, if any of those are giving you a red cross, 
make sure you delete those. Those are the ones that are flagging up as harmful and you don't want them installed on your device. Those are the ones that could be performing tasks in the background, slowing the whole device down. But like I said, as you can see, they are all green, so I'm happy with that. So one other thing I did forget to mention is any unwanted apps, so apps that you don't use, simply uninstall them. If you don't use them, there's no point in having them and there's no point in having them taking up that space. So if you don't use them, delete them. So that is just a, well, I was going to say just a few things, but that's a shit ton of things you can do on your Amazon Fire Stick. This is a 4K version to help it run a lot smoother, a lot better, a lot faster, and just all round performance should be improved. Now, if I have missed anything in this video, do comment down below what other tips and tricks you have found that can help improve the device. But yeah, I hope this video's helped you. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I hope you're staying safe. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you soon. Tara. Sorry for the toothpaste as well. <laughs> <laughs> My wife gets mad whenever I mess. Oh, I can't talk. I'm sweating as well. <laughs> and yeah, I hope this video's helped you. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I hope you're saying. St they are the ones that can be performing tax. Oh, I can't talk. I can't do it no more. Those are the ones that could be... That's hard, that.